Stance Kami. Here's my neon, and as you can see, it's danced. Today I told people to bring out cars that are stanced. It can be any category of car. And I'm going to listen to the plate there and stop talking. I lie, I lie. There are many, many nice cars here, but as always, I will go through them. This is very unusual. Almost looks like a toy car with this kind of color scheme. I'm looking forward to this one and questioning the fitment as well. What am I stand? Oh, this car just spawned out of nowhere. Another comment, but it has no driver what do you guys think of electric stance cars because when it comes to stance cars the whole idea is about the looks so no one should get mad at a stance electric car right <laughs> oh what okay pedestrians don't like stance stance electric cars but i'm guessing the batteries being so low down it's going to be quite devastating if you actually scrape this car this is such an og car meet spot i remember doing this on ps3 the first couple of meets I did, this car meet spot was big enough, but now we've got 30 players. We are doing a stance car meet, and the curb is raised. There's no... Oh, as you can see, cars will hit that curb. Let's see this jester roll in. Nice and slow, probably. No. Oh, <laughs> he should have went nice and slow. <laughs> Let's see the Pagali. Oh, oh, what was that? Why are the pedestrians getting so wild here? What is this? Look at the acceleration on those cars. But let's see how everyone's done, how where they've got on. Oh, it's still a queue. And that there is a very nice ZR350. Look at the paint. Look at the fitment. Look at everything. Look at this. We filled up all the spots. There's my car. Clearly not enough for 30 people. But then people have still found a method of parking. I and mean, great. It looks nice still. Looks like a calmy vibe. And yeah, why are these guys doing this? It was longer earlier. I just chose not to record it. It's so repetitive. They do this like nearly every car meet video now. <laughs> but I know I haven't been here for that long, according to you guys, because I'm not recorded that much. But we have been here for like 15 minutes. So let's go to the next spot. For that, let's look at this. Risky move going with those wheels, but I think look, it looks nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at the bullet holes in that. Here comes that curb again. But luckily, yeah, my car just dives through the floor. And the pedestrians are still bugging out. What is with them today? It, this road was never that buggy. Guys, I, I appreciate the flare, but you have to smash my window to put it outside. And we are now at the next spot where there's not so stance cars. And there's really nice... Oh, I need another look at that. Wait, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> that is very nice. That is very nice. You park up in peace. I don't know why the deity always, it's just such a photogenic car. This guy has brought a tuner car. He's full on tuner spec. At car shows, you get like mainly two crowds and it's like the tuner crowd and the stance car crowd. I guess they are the main two. What happened to you? What happened to you? You must've got rear ended by one of those pedestrians at the last meet spot. But yeah, there's some cars that are just tucked. They are fully tucked in. And there are SUVs that are quite stanced, if you can call it stanced. But we all expect the Rebler, we don't expect the Novak. Look at that, look how nice it gets. And it's unexpected as well, that is really low. And because you can shoot it, go even lower. And the Pagali, Pagali is always a nice show car. And yeah, this was a time where Rockstar didn't focus on bringing out cars that would bring in a lot of revenue. I think they do that now. I think they focus on bringing out cars that will make a lot of money for GTA and then they throw in things like the Astro, which they know won't do well, but they want to mix it up to have a more balanced release of cars. This guy, he's still driving around. Park up. Some people have chose to park at houses and some people have parked like I have. And I really do like the color wave on this car. There's color, there's pills that you can have a good combo with that will make deep looking colors. Yeah, I need to really work on describing, <laughs> describing cars. But I do, I do try, but I'm not going to start using the Tethorus to start explaining cars in detail. I'd rather just be, be myself with my bland brain. <laughs> back to back, nice. And there's a lot of elegies here, actually. I was not expecting elegies with a more tuner stance than more like show car spec stance. I guess it, it makes for a variety because we could have a lot of cars like this Sion, even though it looks really good nothing taken away from this stock wheels you know they could have all been clean builds what happened there okay <laughs> right next spot and there we have it all of a sudden we are at the next spot next to this euros which has no rear bumper uh, uh, yeah i don't know he's got a pixelated rear end look how bad that is i wonder how the trim underneath is going to look in gta 6 it, it can't look like that we have the rebler gts it's going to trigger a lot of people 
that there's an SUV that's danced. But, you know, it's in the game anyway. Oh no, don't do this again. I don't know what their theme is at the, at the start there. The Novak, yeah, that's tucked and super low. And yeah, I think it was just a good example to bring because no one, no one's going to bring that. And we have the Vector. And I, for some reason, I always forget the name of the Vector. This happens nearly every single time I go around looking at cars. I forget the Vector. It's only the Vector. We have the Slam Truck and... Uh, yeah, these guys are trying to make it hard for me to even go through these cars. I'm not even going to look at the ones that are not stanced. And the Issy Classic, I think, would have looked a bit better if it didn't have the arches on. What are you guys doing? Yeah, and then we've got the Astrope here. Unique wheels. Definitely unique wheels. With another Astrope. And guys, stop it now. Stop it. You're ruining, you're ruining everyone's car. I don't think he knows his hood's popped. But there's still loads of bullet holes in there. Hmm, we have a nice, simple Futo GTX that... He could have went with a more fancier build. Cypher with the cheetah wheel. Interesting, very interesting. I think the cheetah wheels, they look really nice, but in GTA, it doesn't fit on every vehicle. And there's the Young Classic. I really like this car. I really like this build. He's gone stock wheels. And with stock wheels, sometimes you can get them very pixelated. But with the Xeon one, I like how detailed they are. And they still got that chrome on the lip. The Pigale, I've looked at this earlier and still think it's a very nice build with lots of bullet holes. Here we have my car and yeah, I picked this car because I really do like the fitment. The fitment is super nice and you know you're getting a lot of tire rub driving this car and the front is almost perfect, perfect. And with the vents coming through as well, you can see the fin and the tire, yeah, 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 the tailgater S. Yeah, really slammed with the taller body design. It's probably not the best example of dance car, but I don't know, let me know what your opinion is. Maybe it's just me. I'm not really the connoisseur of stance cars. We have been doing these car meets now for 10 years. Like, it's crazy to me, 10 years it's been. I just, I just deep that now. I just thought <laughs> I bamboozled myself there, realizing that I've virtually been walking around GTA car meets for 10 years. Ah, another case of Bonnet being popped and he probably doesn't know that is such a shame, but I have looked at that car earlier. We have this carbonizer. Carbonizer, it, I don't know. You don't need to do much, even though it doesn't have hardly any modifications. It doesn't need that much. The RT3000. RT3000 is one of those cars where before it came out, you'd assume it'd be at so many car meets, it'll be everywhere, but it wasn't used as much in car meets. Penumbra FF, another one as well, like I, I thought would be more displayed more at meets. When I compare my own car fitment to all these cars, you can see error in loads of them because it's not my car, it's just the neon itself. It just has great fitment. Aim at the bottom of the wheel and shoot it with no bulletproof tires. That's how you get the better fitment. We have this Comet as well with a bolted wide body on there. Super aggressive build, but it's also stanced. We have still got a few more cars whoa again he probably does not know that he is missing a bumper and yeah he definitely doesn't know because his front window is smashed and if he knew that he'd probably recall it i should probably tell him someone wants to do it we'll do bos at the next spot but this car here i don't know I, I like this color this color is different it's almost like it's in some areas it's red in some areas it's kind of a bit raspberry pink I like this color too. That is a very nice color. Very unique color. Like, okay. To be honest, it could just be an LSC color. <laughs> then we have the Sentinel XS. Sentinel has always actually had a good stand. And this is what I like. A Trismo R. I've just got a soft spot for it. The Trismo R. Again, another car. I mean, they did update it. So it does have a few more mods. But yeah, I think the Trismo R was always slept on. Let's go to the next spot. Actually, you know what? You guys comment in the comment section what you think the best car is because you may outvote all of us. Okay, okay, calm down everyone. They're getting too eager. They're getting too eager. So you know what? I am gonna put my foot down. I, he, I was gonna say it's going to get messy, but he <laughs> crashed into a lamppost before we even started accelerating. Guys, calm down, calm down. Oh my God, what are they doing? They're getting so close. Those astropes are vicious. Guys, guys, chill, chill. These two guys have been fighting over being behind me. That sounds so wrong. Guys, guys, stop, stop, stop. I'm, I'm slowing. See, now look what you've done. Now look what you've done. People get so carried away. Uh, and I have to recall my car and it's not going to spawn here. It's going to spawn on the road. And that is it. We are at the final spot where we are going to do best of show. And uh, yeah, as I said earlier, 
make sure you guys comment which you think is a, your favorite car i'm not going to lie very big bias here it, it has to be between my car and maybe this deity but i think it's so oh it's not this one it wasn't it wasn't that one. Oh, never mind i like my car the best so what would i actually bolt on oh this is difficult i i like this is a very nice day to build but i see it all the time maybe the xeon the xeon i don't know is it a boring choice very nice very nice i like how this has ended up they wanted to make it here on time this is really nice too i like this budget rack kind of hand your sj build oh you fixed your hood nice we have four on this euros and oh we have this deity which is not surprising it is a nice build oh but the euros has got five bolts and the deity has also no it's got six bolts it's got six bolts and i want to call it here before like i keep bouncing back from car to car because i seem to i seem to always miss that's for sure i seem to always miss it does deserve to win anyway Thank you so much for watching everyone. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know if you did agree with what won best of show. And especially comment if you think my gosh, which I don't want. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.